Hello and welcome to part 11 of using and finding your way around your new Panasonic Lumix FZ2000, FZ2500 and FZH1. Hiya, welcome to this leader to the video. It's, it's part 11 and it's about taking pictures that match the scene which you're recording and you can set it for different scenes. There's 24 different ones for a start off. And then taking pickies with different image effects. Now there's 22 of them. I'll show you the pages with the written instructions just after this. And then you can please yourself whether you read about it or listen to it and watch me do it. I will go through them all. I won't take long on them. I'm just going to show you what they do. Just to give you an inkling. Because that's 40 odd different effects. <laughs> it's just unreal, but it's such a good camera. I'm shooting on it now And this video because I've come up to the farm to do some panorama shots for Number 10 <laughs> This one I'm talking about is number 11. So stick with it. We'll get there in the end This is the pages that I'm actually going to be sort of working on stop them if you want to read at any time it's page 76 to 80 of the actual user's manual. But you can watch the video after it and then resort back to this if you want to clarify something. It's always best to be able to see it, hear it, read it, then do it. <laughs> At least that's how I've always found it to be. But uh, it's interesting all the different effects you can do. It, they're not my cup of tea. Some of them I think are great. Some of them I'm the wrong age group. I'm not even interested in doing them. But I have fun showing other people what to do and how to do it and where it is so you can go and play with it yourself. Just how I am. Thanks for watching. So we'll go to scene mode. There you are. And there's the scenes. I'm going to do the display again for you. There, clear nightscape. Or there, it says on top, you can see it, distinct scenery. And all the different finishes you can get in there. Now I'm going to go display again. And supposing we want that one. Right, we hit the menu button in the middle. And that's it, you, you can take it. It really is as simple as that. If you use the arrows to the side, you can go through them. I'm going through them so you can see every single one. You might even see some of them twice when I keep going round. When you get to the one you want, all you do is hit the menu set button. And you can see, look, it's gone all blue. <laughs> and that's it. To change the scene guide mode, you just simply select the scene tab on the screen menu. It's there. You see it? SCN. And there. Whiz it along. Oh, I like that one. Stars. Right. You can hit set there. Or you can use the menu button. Go set. There you are. You're set for stars. Want to change it again? Hit the scene button. There you are. And that's it. Items other than the picture quality adjustments in photo style is sensitivity, filter setting, metering mode, highlight shadow, HDR and multi-exposure. Please check in the user's manual which is further back in this video. A bit before this. <laughs> You have to go back and look for it. Sorry. <laughs> now, the pages I put up will explain what the clear portrait, portrait, silky skin, backlit softness, clearing. It will explain them all, what they are and what they do and what not to do better than I ever could. Much better than I ever could. But at least you can see how they're set up. Now, 
taking pictures with different image effects. This is called the creative control mode. Right, the first thing you do is switch on. And then you go there to the little art sign. There. And there it is. You press on here to select which one you want. You can go through them all. I am going through them all monochrome. You can see it as I go through. And again, I will have it all copied from the manual up on the video. And when you want to do one of them, that one there, sepia, you either hit set button there, or you hit the menu button. You can also scroll through them. Can you see the arrow there? Page 7, page 8, page 1, page 2, go back one, choose that one, low key. We'll accept that. And that's it, you've got a low key button. And there is what you're doing there. And you're back into the mode again. Go down one. There, dynamic monochrome, we'll have that. And away you go. Touch that, take another choice. The choices are endless. Well, there's 20 odd of them. <laughs> They're not endless. But you've got all the different types of image effects in there. You've got expressive, retro, old days, monochrome, dynamic monochrome, rough monochrome, silky monochrome. And the pages I put on out the manual will show you these. So you will know what they mean. Now, I hope you like this one because the, the effects are really well worth playing with. Not something you use every day. Some people might. I wouldn't. But they're there. This camera just keeps on giving. You can't... It really is. It's a fantastic camera. Good old Panasonic Lumix. Now, you watch the pages on the manual and you can compare it with this so you know what to set up for what purpose. That's your lot. Bye for now. Now that was the end of part 11 of the still side and this is what I'm working on as well. Part This is part one of the video side. Motion picture side. Go look it up if you're interested in these sort of things because it is the most wonderful videographer's camera ever. Yes, ever.